is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I am here with my Kill a Kit video for the Secret Not So Secret Kit Club for my October kit. So I am going to start with what I have left of the tissue paper, and this is it. I do have plans for it, so I am not throwing it away. It is just going to go in my stash. And then as far as papers go, um, this is probably the biggest piece of paper I have left. Um, and then I have this tiny little piece, this tiny little piece, this tiny little piece, which I thought I was actually going to use, and then a small branding strip from one of the 6x6 six six packs. That's it as far as paper is concerned. So that's pretty much killed. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to keep and what's going to go away because my scrap bin is quite full. So, um, as far as stickers go, this, um, I feel like I did a really good job on, um, for all of these gold hearts and these will definitely get used up. So I will put that in my stash and then... For the crepe paper carousel sticker sheet, there were 68 of them on there. Um, I have these three tiny little color dots. I have this banner, the balloons, and one hot air balloon. So I would say that's pretty good. I did have good intentions for getting some of the others on, but I will just put this in my carousel collection and uh, we'll just add that to my stash. Now, as far as the carousel ephemera goes, this is all I have left. I have this cute little ice cream cone, and I do have a plan for this, and that's why I didn't use that. These two pieces came off um, the tags that were in the kit, and so I thought I might use those. I have one frame and this popcorn. So of that whole ephemera pack, I really have three full pieces left. So that was great. And then um, I guess this is paper related. So I got one cut apart sheet and of that cut apart sheet left, I have um, two that have sayings on them, a, 50, a 30 cent and then I mean, that's just nothing. That will definitely go in the garbage, so I'm just going to be a big girl and throw that away now. And then from the other sheet of paper I have, I have these that I had fussy cut out. And had I had known that I still had these, I probably would have put them on the layout. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with those yet. Um, and then, of course, I have the gold paint and then this beautiful sparks paint i love this stuff so that's it for my what i have left of my kit so i'd say that i did a very good job of using everything so i think i made 14 layouts um here so this was my first one and I, everything is from the kit. Nothing is from my stash. I dug into everything. Oh, and I have this tiny little piece of washi tape left too. That's it. <laughs> it's sitting on my wall there. So everything on this page is from the kit minus the white cardstock, which, um, so this is probably one of my favorite layouts that I made. Um, it's beautiful. It has both the cut apart sheet and both of the paints and all the fun ephemera. So I really enjoy that one. The second one I made is this one. And this one I did for a challenge. So the only things that I added were the wood veneer and the enamel dots. Otherwise, everything else is from my kit. And I was super excited because I felt like this one was pretty boyish when my kit was kind of girly, which I loved. 
but I do have a boy, so <laughs> I have to have some. So this one was also for a challenge. It was super fun. It was a sketch. And um, I'm not a big fan of fussy cutting, but I took that beautiful paper with all of these kites on it and fussy cut that out. So everything from this layout is from the kit with the exception of this piece of paper. It's from the carousel collection. It's from the six by eight pad, I believe it is. But otherwise, mm, and maybe the background paper was mine as well. So, but look, I used all those pretty hearts. So, love it. That was a great sketch. That was not something I would have ever picked. This is the next one, and there's some of that tissue paper. So beautiful. So, as far as the kit is concerned, the only additions on this one are the puffy stickers and those are from the Maggie Holmes carousel collection and that is just from my stash but these are the beautiful um, doilies and all the ephemera these are the cut apart sheets so beautiful even this background paper was part of my kit love this background paper So this one was also for a challenge that I didn't actually get to enter in that challenge. But um, so as far as things that are not from my kit, I think the only thing is the background paper and that is from the carousel collection and this piece of black cardstock. So uh, that is everything from my kit, love it. This was for a challenge for using the colors of the Secret Not So Secret Kit Club. So the black and the white and the teal. Okay, this one, I got to actually use that uh, bag that my embellishments came in, which I just loved and I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna get it on the paper because it's purple. But I felt like it worked with this because there's a purple section of the um, Ferris wheel in the background. So uh, as far as things that are not from the kit, um, just some paper. So I got to use up some more of that six by eight paper pad. So this piece, this piece, and this piece are from that. And then the puffy sticker of fun and the little hearts. But everything else is from the kit. Beautiful. Oh, maybe the background paper. Yeah, the background paper um, is from my stash. And that is a carousel along with this doily and the tag. I love with this kit that it is so versatile and you can very easily pull things in from your stash that work amazingly with it. So not only are you working with this amazing kit that Christina put together, but you also get to use some of your stash. So um, this one was for a fun challenge of um, using different alphas. So there are three different alphas here and I am horrible at um, coming up with titles. I mean, if it doesn't come on one of these great, like thicker pre-made titles for you, I'm really not good at it. So, um, but I was pretty proud of myself with this one. Um, it's my son. He showed a goat for the first time, um, at the state fair. He had never even touched the goat and he's like, I'm going to show that goat. So he showed it. Um, so the title is you goat this. Um, so that one was super fun. Everything here is from the collection ex or the kit, except for the alphas and the tag. But I mean, even the baker's twine is from the kit and I used all of my baker's twine. I don't have any of that left. So that was great. I used the paint here. Um, and then some of that paper, some leftover paper for there. 
And this one was super fun. This was the cut apart sheet. This is a labor of love for all those ladies out there that actually um, take the time to fussy cut and to back cut files. I'm not really good with that, but this was a beautiful cut file. And what I did with this one was I actually took that um, paper that had all of these kites. So all of the kites that I had left after I fussy cut them out for the other layout, I actually backed these hearts with these kites. So um, love that. And then I just added some washi tape and the title and the background paper are from my stash. Um, this tag actually was from the October uh, weekend that we did. Um, and that was one of the only things that I got done. So I was super happy to use that. Um, this one, so the only addition, this is actually that tissue paper. So the only thing I used from my stash was the wood veneers and the background paper um, to bring in kind of that barnyard feel. Now, this is the one that we did a scrap lift of one of our members. And this was the layout that I chose. And this is where I fussy cut out those arrows from the, from the pattern paper I got and added washi tape. So everything but this little baseball is for life. Some of these rub-ons and the background paper came from the kit. This one is almost completely from the kit with the exception of the cardstock background. Um, all of the, the hearts and the paint and the embellishments, the um, flowers, all from my kit. Totally love this one. Um, I'm gonna give you a little close up because it is super cute. And I love that gold paint. That is amazing gold paint. So here's where I was kind of getting down to minimal supplies. The Baker's Twine, this, um, some of these uh, layered papers, and the washi tape are from the kit. Everything else is from my stash, but you would never know. It was great. And same with this one. This one I used the paint um, and the little hearts and the rest was from my stash. This was for a challenge as well for the weekend. And the last one is my absolute favorite layout probably ever. Um, and the only thing from my kit on this is actually the um, rest of the cut file. But um, this was for a challenge for our weekend and um, it was monochromatic. And I have been wanting to do this actual layout for a long time just to show all the different textures that you can use without pattern paper. So um, those are my layouts and I hope you enjoyed looking at them as much as I enjoyed making them. So please check out the Secret Not So Secret Kit Club and I can't wait for my next kit. So we'll see you next time. Bye!